Monster Hunter is a long-running franchise that focuses on, well, you guessed it, hunting monsters. Monster Hunter Rise is Capcom's latest addition to this franchise, and it is exclusive to the Nintendo Switch. Hey guys, I'm Mitch, and this is Super Platinum Achievement, and today I've got a review for you on Capcom's latest entry, Monster Hunter Rise. Stick around. Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It does help us out a ton. Also, check out our giveaway playlist. We like to give away free stuff all the time, so don't miss out on your chance for something free. Getting into the review, we're going to start with the visuals. Being a Nintendo Switch game, you can't expect much to praise about the visuals considering we now have to compare it to the latest generation of PlayStation and Xbox consoles. However, Nintendo has shown that gorgeous games can be made for the Nintendo Switch. This game falls short of that. We have seen visuals on Breath of the Wild and Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and know that the Switch is capable of some pretty amazing looking games. Even The Witcher 3 looks pretty outstanding for being ported to the Switch and being made six years ago. Monster Hunter Rise, however, is disappointing to say the least. While it has its moments, most of the game is filled with pixelated shadows, clothes and objects clipping into each other, and pop-up textures galore. The landscape is nothing to write home about either. For a game coming out in 2021, this is absolutely unacceptable to me. I'm going to have to give it a 6 out of 10 for visuals. Let's see. Audio is always a difficult category to put a grade on. When done well, it's not always something that really stands out. This game wasn't awful, but it definitely wasn't great. The voice acting is subpar, which can be expected for this type of game, and the music is average to say the least, and honestly I found it somewhat annoying at times, especially in the uh, main hub. There's really not much to say about the audio. Um, the battle sequences were just kind of there, that you had your standard sword sounds and hit noises. Nothing much, but it wasn't great. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 for audio. For performance and polish, as I mentioned with the visuals, this game has its issues. There's a lot of clipping in the game. Clipping is when one object and another object, such as clothes and your sword or your clothes and the landscape, go inside one another and clip each other off. There's a lot of that in this game. And there's a lot of pixelated shadows and textures, especially around the hair and the face area of your character. Also, the frame rate on the creatures that you see in the distance look like a PC game from 1999. It moves very slow and choppy and does not improve until you're a lot closer. Pop-in textures are also all too frequent in this game. The game performed as if it was released on the Nintendo Wii. Not a fan. 5 out of 10 for polish and performance. Gameplay, one of the most, if not the most important category in a game. This is where my opinion will differ drastically from others. To me, the gameplay in this is very boring and repetitive. You go get items, you go hunt a monster, you go fight that monster, come back to base, repeat. The combat is also very choppy and difficult to be precise to me. I often found myself struggling to get my character to face the right direction when in battle and would just continue to stab and slash at air, which made it difficult. It wasn't very uh, fluent. However, I know many people absolutely love this style of gameplay and can't get enough of it, so take what I say with a grain of salt. You might have to try it out yourself. It's just not for me, though. 6 out of 10 for gameplay. Story. To me, and to a lot of other people, story might be the most or the second most important part of a game. And well, this game, there really isn't much of a story that you're meant to care about. You're introduced to this small village and apparently it is being attacked by monsters and you're a new monster hunter that has to go and stop this calamity. Now go kill monsters. That's pretty much it. 
this isn't a game that really tried hard to even get a story and they didn't care that's not the style of game it is but to me a game needs at least some store sort of story this didn't have it two out of ten for story Overall, this game really failed to pique my interest and I struggled to play enough of it to get a good review. As I said before, many people absolutely love this game, love the franchise, can't get enough of it. I'm just not one of those people. To me, it's not my style of game. I found it boring, repetitive, and you know, struggled to actually enjoy playing it. Overall, 5 out of 10 Monster Hunter Rise. That's the full review I have for you guys of Monster Hunter Rise. Remember, take what I say with a grain of salt. I'm not preaching this review as gospel by any means. That is my thought. Now, if you liked this video, please give us a big thumbs up. Let us know what you think in the comments. Did you already get this game and you like it a lot? Did you play the demo when you liked what you saw from the demo? I highly encourage you to play the demo, even if you aren't uh, impressed with what you've seen or what I'm telling you about the game so far. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. It helps us out a ton. We do a ton of reviews and other video game stuff, anything you want. Um, and we hope you check out the giveaway playlist so we can get you some free stuff. Until then, we hope to always see you here on Super Platinum Achievement. Till next time, guys.